Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in to Outdoor and Door Texan. Today we're gonna walk through how to cook deer tenderloins. This is an extremely easy and straightforward recipe. The name of the game with tenderloins is to keep it simple and let the most tender cut of deer meat speak for itself. First up, you'll need the tenderloin muscle from a deer. And just in case there's any confusion, we're talking about the muscle group shaded in red shown here in my perfectly drawn anatomy diagram for a deer. I know this may surprise some, but I am not an artist. I think I did a pretty good job though. Tenderloins are not the backstrap. Backstrap is indeed a tender muscle that runs along the top of the deer's spine. However, the tenderloin is a smaller and even more tender muscle that runs on the bottom of a deer's spine. If you are here for backstrap recipes, this will probably still work fine for that cut of meat, or you can just check out the video linked above for something a bit more complicated. All right, back to it. After removing as much silver skin and fat from your tenderloins, dry them well with a paper towel and then let them sit out and come up to room temperature. Then coat the meat evenly with a little bit of olive oil. After the olive oil, give them a healthy sprinkle of salt, an equal amount of fresh ground pepper, and finally, sprinkle over some garlic powder. And that's all for seasoning. Now let's head over to the range and get to cooking. Get a cast iron or some similar nonstick pan heated up to medium high heat, and then add about half a stick of butter. Venison is extremely lean, so adding this butter will provide a touch of fat to the overall flavor. If for some reason you don't like butter, which is ridiculous, you could always sub in bacon grease. Just before adding the tenderloins, toss in two to three cloves of garlic. I'm working with pre-minced garlic, but whole cloves work fine as well. Then add your tenderloins and using a long spoon, start basting the meat with your garlic butter. After about 30 to 45 seconds, give your meat a flip and then keep basting them with that butter. Venison can get horribly chewy if you overcook it. And since these are some of the most coveted pieces of meat on the animal, don't overdo it. Use an instant read thermometer and pull these tenderloins the moment they read somewhere between 115 to 120. That'll be a nice juicy rare. As usual, I was a little preoccupied with getting everything on video, so mine snuck a little closer to that medium rare side, but they were thankfully still plenty tender. Give the tenderloins a few minutes to rest, but after that, you're pretty much ready to cut, serve, and enjoy. As far as presentation goes, I like to slice them up into little medallions, add a little bit of that leftover garlic butter sauce, and then just sprinkle them with some finishing salt. Keep it super simple. These tenderloins are absolutely delicious. Each medallion is extremely tender, and it practically melts in your mouth. Although there was a whole bunch of butter and garlic going on in that pan, the standalone flavor of venison is still definitely there, and then it rounds out nicely with the seasoning and butter. Since they're typically so small and so sought after, the tenderloins are usually treated as the hunter's personal reward for a successful hunt. I hope this recipe helps y'all make it a proper celebration. That'll do it for this one, and thank y'all so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or anything else to add. If you like what you see, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more great content to come. All right, y'all. Take care.